I mean, so look, John, these uh, impact assessments, all they do is that they look at the information that we have available to us and they make an assessment of what they think is likely to happen. And quite frankly, I think for most people, they're not surprised that Brexit's going to have a knock-on effect to the economy. I don't think there's anyone that thinks it's not going to have a knock-on effect to the economy. Um, and so for me, you know, the bigger issue, and to sort of take the question that Lisa asked, yes, there Sorry, when you say knock-on effect, obviously going to have a knock-on effect. A, a deleterious or a, a beneficial? A negative knock-on effect. And I don't think there's anyone that... I don't think there's anyone that thinks it's not going to have a negative knock-on effect. And certainly all the work that we've done at the New Economics Foundation <coughs> supports that. So that, I don't... Sorry, I... what was that? Yeah, but we have not left the European Union. We, we have not left the European Sorry, Union. Sorry, what was the remark? The, the, in the, the referendum... The, the Economists for Free Trade have published figures with some eminent economists behind them who've been very correct with economic forecasts over the past 30 years that are predicting the opposite of what these Treasury reports are saying. They're saying it would be positive on WTO terms. All right, yes. So I think the majority of economic analysis suggests that there'll be a negative knock-on impa impact, certainly in the short term, and then I think there's a question about the long term because there are lots of different factors that come into play. But, 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 but to, to go back to Lisa's question, there were lots of different reasons why people voted to leave the European Union, all of them legitimate. But, you know, for a lot of people, you know, they voted to leave because, quite frankly, they were sick and tired of the state of the economy. They were fed up with seeing their pay packages squeeze. They were tired of the housing crisis. They were worried about the prospect of their children. And I think in all of this, we've got to hold on to that. And it is absolutely beholden on the politicians to ask themselves the question when they're dealing with things like... Brexit or some of the really complex tech issues like the single market or the customs union, will it make it easier or will it make it harder to improve our living standards, to create jobs for us, to make things better for our young people? That has to be the litmus test of all of this. And my big worry is that we leave the European Union and actually it doesn't solve all those problems, not least because we will have a decade where the politicians and the government are dealing with the ins and outs of Brexit and they're not focusing on these massive, massive challenges that we absolutely must deal with. Mm -hmm.